Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for WeatherWeb.net's look at video today on Friday the 24th of July. We'll take a look at the latest Japanese output from the JMA model that is issued once a week and just compare as well with the latest CFS charts too. And as usual with this Japanese chart we've turned it upside down and this is centred over the North Pole. The British Isles are under here, just quite small. We've got uh, the 500 millibar anomalies then on this chart and it's uh, showing the lower than normal heights uh, broadly across northern Europe uh, through this uh, first period. This is for the re remainder of July on this chart and that keeping us in the unsettled conditions and the trough broadly over the North Atlantic and northern Europe. Lower than normal heights of 500 millibars then basically translates as low pressure at the surface. And we use the 500 millibar chart because it's a broader scale look at the middle atmosphere movements and is easier to pin down some information from it compared to looking at the model's interpretations of the surface pressure, which is a more fiddly prospect and more jumpy on the model runs. This then is week two. This is the uh, first week of August then by this time. And it's showing a, a fairly neutral situation, really. Lower than normal heights are way towards the southwest, but not really affecting the British Isles. Again, the UK under here. Higher than normal heights, though, broadly across Eastern Europe. And this could be uh, warm, uh, hot conditions across the eastern side of Europe again by this time. Do a nondescript pattern across uh, Western Europe as a whole. Just trying to suggest a slight trough in the upper heights, though, uh, still giving us a fairly westerly pattern overall. I think a mixed outlook is the best thing to take from that. Now, the mean for weeks three and four, which is running through from about the 8th of August through to around the 21st, 22nd of August, uh, so at the middle part of the month, and the average uh, heights, uh, 500 millibars for that whole period. Suggesting lower than normal heights, then away towards the south and southwest a bit more broadly by this time. Higher than normal heights that are away towards Greenland, across northern Europe, less so here, but across central Europe as well uh, in this sort of zone. So what this may mean is that higher pressure is trying to become established, say over Scandinavia, perhaps over Greenland as well, whilst lower pressure is more in this sort of region. So that sort of a setup may be one that we try and go into, which leaves the UK in a rather no man's land situation. But this sort of situation here, the trough, trying to be out towards the west, still hinting at areas of low pressure trying to develop at times. And it may be that the pattern just comes around something more of a southeasterly with time as areas of low pressure over Biscay, over France, and just pull in the air from the southeast. It may give some warmer temperatures for a time, but also may the result in something thundery if low pressure becomes centred around the southwestern approaches and Biscay. It's the CFS charts, and this is for weeks one and two, week one at the top, week two at the bottom, and it's showing the situations we are at the moment with those at lower heights towards the north and that unsettled pattern as we have over this next week, as we know. Going into week two, which is running up to the 5th of August, lower heights showing here are out towards Scandinavia, also across the mid-Atlantic, so it's that fairly unsettled westerly pattern that we've been talking about, occasional ridges of high pressure trying to build in from the southwest in that period around the change of the month, but that mixed outlook still being on that pattern. Weeks three and four, weeks three at the top and week four lower down, uh, showing us week three lower heights away towards the northwest, and that's the period from the 6th to the 12th of August, higher heights, higher pressure away towards Eastern Europe. So some agreement there uh, with the Japanese model with higher uh, heights and higher pressure away towards the east. Week four puts uh, higher than normal heights a bit more into central Europe, uh, lower heights somewhere towards the west-southwest, so possibly some agreement there with trying to get lower pressure in the southwestern approaches, whilst high pressure is away towards uh, Greenland in this sort of zone. So again, maybe that hint of those two connecting, uh, putting higher pressure broadly over northern and uh, northeastern parts of Britain and lower pressure away towards the southwest. As always, though, these uh, longer range models to be treated with some caution. They're more for guidance purposes than any uh, specific detail. Uh, we can't get to the exact day by day forecast by these times, but we can give some trends as to what may happen. We'll fill you in with all the very latest here at weatherweb.net. And don't forget the fast forecast video gives you the uh, details for the next three days ahead. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and bye for now.